Hi everybody, Kevin Harnett with you with more Secrets of Louisville Chefs coming up and this time you're about to learn the secrets from a real Frenchman. The best secret you can have in cooking is... Chef to... Louis from Louis Le Francais is New Albany's chef and he's here today ready to reveal secrets that he's picked up from all over the world through a storied culinary career. We'll meet him and we'll find out what led him to bring all of his talents right here to Kentuckiana. We're gonna put a little pineapple juice. Plus, Tim Laird is here. He doesn't speak French, but he sure knows how to make a French cocktail. You'll learn the secrets to his French martini. Son all day long. Nothing complicated. It's all coming up right now on Secrets of Louisville Chefs before this live studio audience. Secrets of Louisville Chefs. We're here at Bourbon Barrel Foods and we invite you into our kitchen studio every week. And in fact, today we're learning the secrets from a true Frenchman. His name is, well, simply Louis. Born in France, his culinary skills have been honored by the French government. He's cooked all over the world, from Paris to London, from New York to San Francisco. And now we're happy to have him in our town as the chef at Louis Le Francais in New Albany. And today, he's here with us in front of our live studio audience, and he's ready to reveal some good secrets that you can use to make your own French food at home. Before we introduce you to Chef Louis, how about my co-host, Tim Laird? Hello, Kevin! How are you? I, uh, yeah. We're, we're going to go to France. Uh, and that is exciting. We've, I know. We've had a chance to have Louis on the show before. Yes. And as America's chief entertaining officer, as you are, <laughs> Uh, it's always a lot of fun. He shares secrets, and boy, the two of you together, that's a party. We, we are going to have fun. It, it's great to have Louis in the Ville, so it's Louis Ville. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, but anyway, I'm excited. This will be fun. All Please. Right. Thank you, Kevin. All right. It's a great day to be in Kitchen Studio, and I'll tell you why. We have a real French chef, and here he is, Chef Louis from Louis La Francais. Hello, Chef. Thank you. Thank you to welcome you wonderful people. Thank you very much. You. I'll tell you what, this is exciting. I, I, uh, I, I mean, you truly cook in the French style, but you cooked all over the world, though, right, Chef yep, Louis? Tell I us did. about some of your experiences. Well, I started when I was 14 years old. A friend of my father uh, was killing pigs in the country, in the farms. So I followed him when I was 14. 25 cents a pig. Wow. But anyway, I start from there. My mother was uh, really gifted in cooking. My brother was a chef, Rene. Uh, my brother, Jeannot, was another pastry chef. My older brother, Andre, was in the police department. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, uh, I'm trying to do something which is very French, uh, and then it is, and then it's very district. I'm from the southwest of France, okay, near the Basque area. My mother was Basque, my father was above Bordeaux, on the Vendée area, so together, and then that's where I am. Great, and what is this dish, yeah, Okay, chef? that dish today is going to be a dish that my mother used to do, but I improved it a little bit, I play with it a little bit, okay? It's uh, uh, three types of mushrooms. We have uh, a portovelo here. That's a nice. big mushroom. That's a big mushroom, okay, uh, portovelo, <laughs> big mushroom. It's a mushroom. We have, yeah. the, we have the, the shiitake, the small shiitake, and we have the, the button. The Champignon de Paris. Uh, does anybody speak French? Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Okay, well, I do. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you how that works a little bit so you can make it easy at home. I didn't pick up a recipe here so you can do it very simple Excellent. at home. That's okay? the premise. Nothing complicated. All right, so I'm going to show you how to slice a mushroom. Okay, so we do it that way and we do it that way again and then we go that way like this. Great job. Look at okay. That. Very efficient. That's Very good. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You've done that a few times, Chef. Um, uh, I, today. <laughs> First time today. You got to watch your fingers when you do that, though. Because if you don't do it, mm, you got a problem. And then it goes into the hot pan. You had a little oil in here. A little before. oil in there just to make the pan a little bit, you know, it was hot. Okay, so. Now, I noticed you, you've been putting some butter in here, too. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A li yeah. See, in French, this is a little butter. I never use ever margarine or anything like this. Butter, full cream, and that's fine. 
If you feel like you're getting too fat, all you have to do is run around the block, drink a glass of wine, you're fine. No problem. No problem. Welcome back to our fitness show now. <laughs> tips, healthy tips from Chef Louis. Uh, Why not? Run around the block and have some wine. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I can go, I'm going to go on that program right now. <laughs> I don't oh. slice. I don't slice these, okay? Because they look better on the plate, okay? Okay. Just presentation, and I put some more in here because nah, there is it. The one I put on for you to taste later on, they are sliced, okay? But for me, I don't like that. I like that. How about that turning skills, Captain? Look at uh, that. Can you do that? No, I, it'd oh, be yeah. all over the kitchen. No, 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 no. It's okay. No. It's fine. You're doing fine. Oh, I love, I love mushrooms, too. Yeah, let's go. There you go. See? <laughs> Thank you, Chef. You're doing it. Let me That's try fine. that. Oh, no, oh, please. Oh, <laughs> the whole front row ran. Oh, it's, it's like that Gallagher show you speak oh, of. That's right. Oh, the whole front oh, row got, might be doused in mushrooms. <laughs> Look at that, that's just amazing. No, but that's, that's not. You see the, how mushrooms, I mean, they reject the water? And they become a little soft. It's called cooking. <laughs> <laughs> see, oh. that's the difference, you see? Yep, I can butter. see the difference. In yep. The, and then the you butter adds a nice little sheen to the top, uh -huh. a nice little color. Yep. Oh, the ducks are calling me. Oh, I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th yeah, I thought we were doing chicken. No, it's ducks. <laughs> ducks. I don't know what to do this here. Cancel. Right? Yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, chef didn't see the video. Turn off your cell phones before coming on. He was off on the stage. I don't know who's calling me, but anyway, uh, I put it there. That's fine. Well. <laughs> okay. Now, if you want to expedite the dish in here, you can get rid of the stock in here. Like this. Okay. But I do not because the stock we use give more flavor. The shiitake are getting now ready. Mm -hmm. You can see that, okay? Put them in there. Wow. Okay, we put a little more butter, right? Of you like course. butter, right? <laughs> <laughs> right like French butter. cooking at its finest. <laughs> Gotta have some more butter. Absolutely. Now, what we do here, we take a little garlic. Not too much. I chopped the garlic before. Okay. Yep. Butter's so best friend is garlic. Garlic. Oh, yeah. We like garlic. Hmm. <laughs> Few shallots also in there. Wow. A little bit, not much. And then we again, we can do that this way. You really don't even need a spoon in this no. French cooking no. thing, is what I found. <laughs> You reduce, I reduce all the juice into the mushroom so they get more flavor, okay? Mm -hmm. They're drinking that butter, they're loving it. So now okay, we do now this they're here. ready to go in the... Okay. Oh. Smell that? I do. And now we finish with the parsley. Fresh parsley, Fresh parsley. Right at the end. Oh yeah. That I chopped before, okay? And I put a lot of parsley. Parsley is good for the eyes, so I can see. Hello. There's no more juice. The juice is into the mushrooms. They're dry. Then I shut the gas, and then I do this here. Oh, wow. I put a little bit too much because I'm generous. <laughs> That's what I heard. You have also great portions at the restaurant. That's Very true. Nice. Very nice. In fact, too big. <laughs> you just did a cost analysis. <laughs> and then we end up with a little parsley on top. Wow. I like parsley. I do too. Love there it. you go. There it is. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Man. Tell you what, Kevin. Looks great. That's, that's worth running around the block and having some wine with. <laughs> You might just run while you eat that, I think yeah, might be no. the best thing. 
Well, when we come back, a lucky studio audience member is going to have a chance to take a taste to see how Chef Louie did. And he's not finished there. More secrets. A little chicken involved with the next dish. Oh, yeah. Find out what that is coming up on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Very nice. Chef Louie. Very nice. Simple. Foods here at Kitchen Studio. I'm Kevin Harnett along with Tim Laird and Chef Louie and our great studio audience and a lucky member Diana is up here with me. Nice to see you. Nice, nice to be here. Well, it's your first time here. I asked you that during the commercial break. Uh, are you enjoying the show so far? I am. It's It's been a lot of fun. Well, And I'm looking forward to the tasting. I think most people here are doing just that. They're like, yeah, come on, let's get to the taste. You get a chance to have a preview, take a taste of Chef Louis's mushrooms. You know he mentioned the three different types of mushrooms he had, the parsley, the great butter, mm -hmm. yeah, flavors. Mm -hmm. You know, French cooking is all about the flavor, getting it incorporated in. It can be painstaking, but usually the payoff is well worth it. Delicious. Yeah. It's just very good. Listen, Diane, that's yours. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the mushrooms, Tim. All right. Well, it's cocktail time. All right. I've got a French martini here, and this is uh, kind of a trip to France with our cocktail. And it's going to start out with a shaker. And I'm going to add uh, martini. I need a little vodka, so I'm going to use a little Finlandia, about an ounce and a half. <laughs> like the chef uses butter. <laughs> yeah, or so. <laughs> Now, the French part of this is uh, Chambord, uh, uh, black raspberry liqueur from Loire, France. Uh, so the Loire region, that goes in a little bit of, uh, yeah, just about that much. That's that could good. be a drink of itself. It, it really could. I mean, I love Chambord. It's just so delicious. And then we're going to put a little pineapple juice. That goes in. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with this martini is give it what we call a dry shake. I'm going to put a little more there. You know, it's like the chef. You don't need to measure. Just right. you know, do you that need some more of this? Can oh, we add a yeah, little bit. Oh, why, yeah. why wouldn't we? Just put a tap of that on there. It's the French way. Anyway, so got the best know. job in the city. <laughs> this is what we're going to call a dry shake, a blind shake, if you will. There's no <laughs> ice in there yet. So, but what I want to do is get that pineapple yeah. juice really frothy, because that's going to be the part of the uh, cocktail that has a nice little frothy foam to it. So, very nice. Give that a good shake. Then. I'll put the ice in. Now, now we want to chill down our cocktail. So the ice is in. Another good shake. This is that, that workout that Chef was talking about. You know, you can get a workout in your cocktail too. Just in. So, anyway, a good shake of that. Boom. Let's see how we did, Kevin. Oh, see, there's that frothiness I was talking about. That, right. That, that you want to come to the top. There it is. Oh yeah. Looks good. Now, as they say, Sante. Sante, that's what it is. Sante. Wow. That is good. No, that is great, Kevin. Yeah, you're right. It is oh, great. Sante again. <laughs> yeah. Sante all the rest of the day. I better, I better Sante on over here so we can get Chef going. Hey, Chef, we got a big chicken over here. Look at this. What is this? Look at the size of this thing. My God, you sure that's not turkey? It's not turkey, it's chicken. All right. Yeah. You're the chef. Yeah. Wow. Now, Chef, before we even started the show, you yeah. said one thing a Frenchman does is they open the bottle of wine I did. at the beginning, and you did that. Yeah, that's I did. Open and ready to go. You're going to oh, use yeah. that with the. Uh... Is that going to be incorporated? Nice. Oh, yeah. Happy chicken. Shall we? All right. Surgery? Yes. Okay, surgery. You got the knife. <laughs> I got the knife. See, that's another thing about the French, great knife skills. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I, I remember watching Jacques Pepin, and he, he did an entire show just on, on knife skills. It, it's just incredible. Oh. Look at that. This is surgery. Look at this cat. I mean, wow. this is, see, that's part of the art. That's talent. No, that is. And, and we're talking about this dish being very traditional uh, French dish. Yes, right? correct. Yep. Almost like like a coco vin. Yes, a classic. Classics. This is a classic. This is a luncheon dish. Then luncheon item. A luncheon. Yeah, I I would never serve that for dinner, but for luncheon, yes, it's a lunch item. 
In a pan, we have some butter and garlic. No, shallots. Oh, shallots. 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 This is pure shallots in here. Chopped shallots, yeah. Oh, I just smell that, Kevin. <laughs> now, I know that uh, we can put a little touch of garlic, huh? Oh, yeah. There's the garlic. I knew the garlic was right behind. Not, not too much. Not far. Not too much. <laughs> And also, full fry, okay? Right. Full, all the way. That's, Big the, that's the French trinity. It's, it's butter, garlic, and uh, shallot. <laughs> and then in goes the chicken. It's been finely diced. Did you see that dicing work? It's like, or cubed. I, I should say cubed. Cubed, yeah. Well. We're going to let the chicken cook during the commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to finish up this great dish from Chef Louie. When we come back right here on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Welcome back to Bourbon Barrel Foods. Kevin Harnett alongside Tim Laird and Chef Louie. And we are learning the secrets during commercial break. The chicken's been cooking just a couple minutes here. And you're about to ready. There it is. There's Special the ingredient. There it is. I knew it. I knew wine was going to go in. I just knew it. It's part of the French culture. A lot of it, right, Louie? No, too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the right amount. If you want the recipe, it's just the right amount of wine goes in and garlic. Now, can we get this at uh, Louis La Francaise? Yes. And here's a trick. Look at this. Yeah. A double, it's a double pan mm -hmm. this way cooker. This a quick, twice as fast. In the meantime, uh -oh. I can do something else. <laughs> Take a mushroom. So this is cooking. And then we make a, a happy mushroom. More, the mushroom are firm. It's easier for me to do it. When they're soft, it's more difficult. Garnishing for fun. Right here on <laughs> Secrets of Little Chefs. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How fun is that? Yeah, that's fun. I'm going to do something here, okay? Uh -oh. I'm going to take this away from here. I'm going to switch pan, okay, like this. Fire and no juice in here. I remove all the juice from here. This is the, watch, the stock that we have to make the sauce free, okay? So I take a little roux there, which is, you know roux, right? Yeah, flour and roux. Flour and butter. Yes. And I put a little bit on that, just to eh, make oh, it a little thicker. Thicken, thicken, thicken these up a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's boiling. Always put the roux when it's boiling, okay? Always boiling. Now it'll mix up nicely and start to thicken. Correct. Yeah, you start, as you can see. Oh, see, already, I mean, how fast that thickens up with that roux. Mm -hmm. Now, a little, no, a little bit secret in here. This okay. is very thick. Right. Okay, so you put a little cream. Heavy cream. Heavy cream, 40%. Not too much. We watch our line. Up. That was perfect. Look at that. Okay. Are you catching the secrets for French cooking? I've got this down. Cream, yeah. butter, butter, a little more and cream. Now, and now we put the mushrooms. Now. The wine. That's right. No, the, the wine is already there. Remember? That's right. It's already in it. It's already in there. So now this is pretty thick, as you can see. Okay. Very thick. Oh Very gosh. thick, right? Right. Guess what? Give him a few minutes here. Oh, I bet the moisture from the... The mushrooms are going to take the water out, and then it's going to make my sauce even. There's, there's that French Look, here they come again. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. For me, um, all kind of little things. These little things helps a lot, you know? It does. Because in, in, when we're cooking, I don't have any time. My time is very, very precious. So I have to find things that I go fast, fast, fast all the time. The best ingredient that you can have, the best secret you can have in cooking is to be happy. Yes. Yes. Okay? If you don't do it and you're not happy, don't do it. Get right. out of here. That's it. 
That's, a, that's, that's, that's simple. That's the secret. You that's got the, it. the real secret is this. Now you see the rejection now? See it? Oh. It's coming along. Beautiful. Yeah, the, I'll tell you, the water came out a little bit. Now it's thinning out that you see? used to be almost like paste is now just a mm -hmm. nice, uh, there's those guys. That's two trips to France, okay? That's two trips. <laughs> hey, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> And the, the onions. Oh, so pearl onions go in there. Pearl onion goes in there, that's a garnish. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, uh, like a really nice hearty dish that was uh, mm -hmm. just delicious. A little pepper? A little pepper. I should put the white pepper, but. Now, what I do now is reduce it to consistency All right. for me. So, so Chef, so once, once it, it reduces down, here it is. That is, is beautiful. It. There it is. Look at that. Wow. Wonderful. I'll tell you what. Fantastic. And, of course, we can get that dish and other traditional French dishes, the authentic thing. Yeah. Take a trip to France just over the river. So You're many there. people claim French, but there really is only one true Frenchman. That's Louis. He's That's in me. town. You can find him thank over you. in New Albany. And Louis, thank you for being here. You're welcome. We thank you, Louis. That. that was so wonderful. Thank you so much. We appreciate everybody in our studio audience. We thank you at home for watching. If you're looking for that complete restaurant guide, as well as Louie's recipes, you can find them online on our website. It's newlocaltv.com. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harnett, and on behalf of all of us at b, &B Productions, we'll see you next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs.